patience was a virtue. Uh, a little late, nevertheless, it's here today. Welcome back, Foulmouth Fishing family. Um, we've got our MTB Elite box for April. Uh, again, it's a little little late. I was expecting it, hopefully, last week, but uh, nevertheless, it showed up today, uh, less than 20 minutes ago. So I thought I'd throw in and, and see what we got in this April edition of the MTB Mystery Tackle Box Elite. So, uh, excuse me a moment while I grab my trusty fillet knife. <sighs> So we can tear into this box. Um, as always, uh, if you don't know, these uh, these MTBs um, are a mail order subscription uh, box system. They have a standard, a pro box, which is their mid-range, and the elite box, which is what I get, which is their highest tier uh, so far. Um, and it's just a, a subscription uh, package where you get lures each and every month. Um, you can do one month at a time. You can get a three month, six month, or 12 month subscription where every month for 12 months. And any time during that duration, you can pause your subscription and then restart it later. So if you fall on times where you don't need baits or you're not a winter fisherman and you don't need baits in October, November, December, you can pause it at the end of September and then pick it back up in February or March if that's your choice. Um, so these are kinds of little things that, that help out for anglers that don't have access to certain uh, sporting goods stores or bait and tackle shops nearby, this is a definite um, you know, benefit. There's a whole series of these uh, subscription boxes out there um, and promotion companies out there. Um, just check it up on the internet and by all means research. The name brands that we have out there right now, Lucky Tackle Box, Mystery Tackle Box, a handful of others, uh, I, I have stock in, in, in respect in those. There are a few out there, and you can look and research the uh, the responses uh, from the public that are just not uh, not mentionable, and I don't promote them. In fact, uh, another YouTuber who I have a lot of respect for, uh, for the second time, went into a corporation that I do not have any respect and will never, ever associate to, uh, to, to spend my hard-earned cash on, so uh, I keep out of that. But uh, we're going to pop into this box here and uh, and see what we got. Now, I noticed something. I'm a very observant person real quick. And this month's box was double sealed. You can make out, they had a seal and then a seal on top, tape and then tape on top. So MTB, what were you doing in my box? Did you add a sneaky extra surprise? I didn't order anything extra. Maybe, maybe I lucked out. Maybe they went back and said, you know, this box is a little small. Let's, uh, let's throw something else in there. But uh, just so you know, it was not previously opened by me. So we're going to tear into this, not kill ourselves, and uh, open up and see all the juicy goodness that is inside. Now, with every MTB, um, I'm not sure what the Lucky Tackle Box, but with every mixed mystery tackle box, they give you uh, a slam where you take all the baits in this box, you go out of your local fishing holes, and you try to catch a bass or a panfish or whatever on each one of the baits, and then you put that up on social media and you have the, the chance to win uh, prizes, be it box uh, discounts, boxes themselves, um, different baits, all kinds of things. So uh, in each box, you've got a tape measure, the listings and requirements for those contests, social media platforms to get in contact with, and uh, you know, just add-ons where you can go to add on baits to your packages if you are a subscriber. We've got our Dibble Digest tips and tricks. Um, sometimes on the back you'll have the listing of the products. In the LTB box you get a full magazine. In each page of the magazine it lists the tips for that product, the product, and the product cost. Um, Dibble Digest is just a, a tip for anglers kind of thing. And then you get a bait list card. And fundamentally this is a, this is a, full, a full card this month. So... Normally, you know, you'll have some bland space on the bottom, but this time we've got baits all the way down. We got uh, two, four, six, eight, nine, nine baits. That is a definite pleasing, pleasing thing to see. Um, again, I, I watch the postage code and I follow it, tracking from when it leaves their, their warehouse and it hits the, uh, from UPS, it goes into USPS, and I look at what the weight of the box is. This box weighed in at 0.84. Um, I like to see the box weigh in at like one pound and some ounces because that tells me, hey, I got a lot of stuff. However, that's not always an, an absolute indicator because 
proof's in the pudding. There's nine things in this box, and I've seen, I've had boxes that are a pound more, like 1.2, 1.3, that only have six or seven things in them because they'll have weights or, uh, you know, tungsten or, or maybe brass kits, like uh, they had the, the Carolina rig kit with the brass weights and everything, and that'll weigh the box down, but then that subtracts from the actual baits. You'll get terminal tackle, which weighs more than the baits. You get a cool Catchco Company sticker this time. It's not a, uh, a sticker based on one of the product lines in the box, but that's a cool little sticker. I like that. Um, <laughs> uh, kudos, kudos to another YouTuber, and, and I'll call this one. I, I won't call him Earl. I'll, I'll call him Cletus. For my channel, this is Cletus. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, and I might add, I might ask what channel that Earl reference comes uh, comes from if you're going to uh, to win a prize later on down the line. So always remember, as I get to pref uh, to, to certain uh, uh, predicted uh, accomplishments, uh, 500 subscribers during July and my birthday this this year and every year, um, and of course my 1,000 subscribers, and therefore I'm going to have contests and and give away a lot of stuff: tackle prizes, tackle bo bags and boxes, gift cards. Uh, not just gift cards for hunting and fishing, but gift cards in general. Take your wife and kids out to dinner on May or lunch or whatever. Th those kinds of things definitely coming down the line. So if you want to be part of those contests in the upcoming future, uh, you've got to like, subscribe, and share this content. Because if you don't share this content and get more people interested in subscribing to this channel, I can't build those subscriber numbers to reach those goals of a thousand subscribers and so forth. So it's all incumbent upon this family to work together and grow together. That being said, let's stop, stop chit-chatting and get into the meat of this. Uh, we're going to start at the bottom cheapest uh, or least expensive uh, item in this box, and we're going to work our way up to the, the number one most expensive lure that they included on their um, Mystery Tackle Box um, uh, our, um, uh, retail pricing. So we're going to start, and this is actually very cool. Um, for $3.99, we have the Hard Hat Jigs, which is a, a Catch Co. company, so it's out of MTB themselves, or Carl's Mystery Tackle. Uh, Catch Co.'s Diesel Jig, it's a football-headed jig. It's a green pumpkin with a blue... Green pumpkin and pepper flake with a blue skirt uh, on the bottom, so that gives you definitely that, that blue gill pattern. Pull it out. Standard football head jig. This is a 3 8 ounce jig. There's that typical football head. Good for uh, pitching into uh, into cover. Um, it works really well on riprap football head jigs for uh, for taking off riprap along the sh along the banks and shoreline. Uh, if you got a hard pack bottom on your on your lake or your or your waterway, that works out well. Um, but yeah, this is a really good, I'm going to say that's a 2 aught maybe, 2 aught hook. It's a pretty stout hook. It's not really flexible. That's always good. It's got your standard soft plastics bait keeper um, right there, little standard little peg. It's not the added on wire. It's not a screw lock. Typical brush guard to keep it a little weedless. Not a bad bait at all. It's got a good, good solid, uh, clean paint job. Um, yeah. Good rubber, good rubber band holding the skirt. It's not one of them cheesy yellow rubber bands. It's a good sturdy, hard, hard, hardy rubber. So I'll give you that. That's three ninety nine. That again, that's a Carl's company, Catch Co. Um, coming up from that, uh, this I saw in another box, and that interested me a lot. And I'm going to talk real quick about it. Now this is a Lunker City Baits. Um, on it, it's a three eighths as well. Uh, it's another jig, and this one is called their Panhead Jig. Now, there's a little 25% off uh, www.lunkercity.com code on the, on the package for me, so I might just uh, be willing to use that and get another one of these. And I will share and tell you why. Because I don't think any other channel so far has mentioned the great advantage that this design has over most other jigs. So, <clears throat> and I can compare them. Now this is a straight green pumpkin and black pepper flake. The key to this over your pitching jigs, your flipping jigs, your swim jig styles with the keeled front, 
There's that football by uh, Catchco. This one is a flat discus head. Same weight at the 3 8 ounce, but what is he, and I haven't seen anybody say this, and what really intrigues me, this has got a straight front hook tie. It's not tied at the top, you know, the top of the head. It's not under tied from the bottom, uh, like you'd see on swimming jigs and, and pitching jigs. This right here is one of the most innovative and intelligent designs I've seen in a long time for skipping. If you've been a kid growing up on the shoreline and you've fit, you know, sat down for hours and reached around and picked up the flattest, smoothest pebbles you could find and skip them across the lake, that's where this is going to shine. If you've got docks, uh, boat ramps with, uh, with uh, laydowns, undercover, grass that, that keels over, trees that hang their limbs over, and you want to skip a bait, a soft plastic, and a jig head, Underneath that dock, underneath that floating or, or that uh, that that uh, uh, boathouse, or underneath that cover, a flat discus head is got to make skipping this bait deep in undercover where you can't necessarily pitch in a standard jig. Mind you, a professional angler can 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 skip soft plastic baits, no problem. Can can skip a swim bait, no problem. A paddle tail. Um, but for the novice angler, myself included, um, this is definitely going to give the advantage to the not as skilled angler to get that skipping action out of their soft plastic bait uh, tra uh, trailer uh, jig head over trying to skip uh, a heavier or lighter weighted, um, you know, oddball shape, especially like a football. If I tried to skip this football jig up underneath the boathouse or underneath the dock and it catches one or the other edge, it's going to tumble. It's going to cartwheel this bait, which is going to cause line twist. It's going to cause a bird's nest, guaranteed. Um, this gives me the, the confidence to start tossing this out and see whether or not I can get better skipping action, better distance on my skips using this jig head uh, against uh, you know a dock over a, over a football or a, a swim jig. Um, so that, I wanted to just touch on that real quick. Um, if you are inclined to get this in the box, you are or you're definitely in an advantage with this head. This is a nice design, and I really appreciate Lunker City uh, for, for bringing that concept out. I, it's something I don't see very often, aside from people who make their own jig heads. Uh, and it's good to see a name brand bring it up. Now, the Lunker City was $449. So the Hard Hats football jig, $399. Lunker City panhead jig is $449. Next up is a Cabin Creeks bait, their Salty Lizard. Again, pre-spawn, coming into bed fish. Um, this is a clear water bait. It's not, this is going to be a sight bait. I am going to tell you, if you get this in your package, get some dip and dye uh, and chartreuse up the feet or the, or the tail, just to give you a little bit of extra visualization when you're sight fishing the beds. Uh, but death, anytime you're you're in pre-spawn and spawn, lizards, creature baits, definitely are a winner. Um, you've got, uh, you know, salamanders or their, their baby salamanders, which are the water dogs. Um, frogs, uh, you know, toads, because you want a submerging bait rather than just a strict floating uh, hollow body frog. You want a solid, soft bait toad. Uh, these kinds of things you can get down, skim them up to that bed, jiggle them around there, make that that... Uh, bedding bass think that you're trying to get the fry, trying to get those eggs, and he'll come up and, and scoop them. Uh, female bass, same thing. She'll come up, grab it. She'll, you got to make sure you have a good sturdy hook and a large hook, which is clear, because nine times out of ten during the spawn, the bass aren't interested in feeding, but they are interested in scaring off and removing predators. So you want to aggravate, get that reaction to grab it and, and try to move it, but you got to be good and have a good set of glasses and, and good sight, which is why I say, you know, put a little chartreuse on this just to, to bring up some little more action and some, uh, some more visualization of the tail or dip the head, in fact, which will, which will draw that, that bass to the head. But uh, you got to be able to see it because the minute that thing disappears, set that hook and, and bring that fish ashore or bring it into the boat. But that's a really nice uh, smoky color. It's, you know, like I said, it's clear. 
um, if it was a green pumpkin or, or if it was more solid black or silver or white, um, it might be a little bit more punchy and set off against stained water or semi-stained water. But uh, being as how transparent it is, well, it's still translucent because it's a smoke, but as clear and see-through-ish as it is, um, this is more of a clear water thing. And it's a good, it's a good pack. It's an eight count, two, four, six, eight count. Yeah, so you get a good quantity, which is always appreciated. Uh, those Cabin Creek Lizards come in at $4.99. Moving up, Strike King's Ocho. I got another one. All right. I've got the Ochos in the uh, purplish blue color. Uh, this one is the Sweet Tater Pie. So it's a sweet potato pie color. It's a black, orange, almost like a camo, typical camouflage swirl, tie-dye kind of pattern. Um, but you've got a, a dark, dark back with that multi-toned green, orange, yellow, chartreuse, black, brown kind of spun color in it. So you got these hints of, of yellow chartreuse that bleed into the orange, which goes into a yellowy orange green color, which bleeds back into that black background color. So you get like a five tone uh, tone thing. It's a nice short one. This is a, uh, what is this? Four inch? Four inch. So you got a little four inch Ocho for the eight sides. Again, thank God I have a Latino uh, wife, <laughs> so I'm not butchering too many Spanish terms. Not that I know Spanish, because I don't. I can order from a Taco Bell menu. That's about as good as I get. Um, but there's another one, and this is another good, good pack. Um, we got 10, 2, 4, 6, 8. I'm going to say this is a 10 pack. So you got 10 pack of the KVT's coffee scent. Thank goodness I love coffee. Um, uh, of the Ocho 4 inch sweet tater pie Senko style worms or stick baits. Um, again, Scented baits are always a pleasure because they'll get the pheromones of your hand off the bait, which will trick the fish into holding on to that bait just a little bit longer and produce better chances of, of hook-to-land ratio. Uh, those Strike King Ochos, $4.99. Lunker Hunt Impact Series Jolt. Jolt. This is a two and a half foot diving impact series bait. So... Yeah, I'm going to say this is it. No, this can't be it. This is it. It's the only longer hunt in here. Yeah, okay. Longer, ooh, I got something. Okay, that's going to be that's gonna be nifty. All right, so we got uh, two and a half. Now, I had seen uh, other... Shocky yellow is the color on this. I had seen other um, longer hunt jolts, but their pattern actually included a lightning bolt I just pegged myself with plastic in the lip. <laughs> Lightning bolt um, pattern on the side of the bait. This paint scheme does not have that. Nevertheless, it's a little two and a half foot Lunker Hunt square bill diving. It's got light rattle, one knocker style. Uh, yep, zero to two and a half foot. I do appreciate when they mark the uh, the depth ranges on the bait itself, uh, as long as that lasts a little while. Uh, it helps you in your tackle box when you have a whole ton of, of square bills and very similar patterns and shapes and sizes to be able to differentiate uh, if you if you're not you know knowledgeable about the size of the bill and the rake and conical shape as to whether or not it's going to plane um, you know a six foot eight foot depth what have you. Um, but uh, but yeah, this is a nice nice little bait. Sticky Trebles. It's always been Lunker Hunt's a good company. Name brand again. Always appreciative. So far, we've gotten two two jig heads, two soft plastics, one square bill. The Lunker Hunt Impact Jolt is a $5.99 bait. Uh, going up from that, we've got, again, another Catch Co. Carl's. This is a Carl's Amazing's Baits Thwacker. Uh, quite a few YouTubers have gotten that correct. Thwacker, T-H-W-A-C-K-E-R, kind of like Weed Whacker, but with a must be the sound the fish make when they when they slurp this thing up. So uh, this one, let's see what the color, they, they give this color as Blueback Flash. I can see that. So this has got a holographic, 
pattern on the sides. I'll rotate it slowly so you can see that hologram going through. Um, it's got a blue to a, sh to a green off chartreuse to that hologram multicolored uh, rainbow effect on the bottom silver. It's a lipless crank, but it's got a nice plowed four front head. Um, so this should be pretty good. They range this at a half ounce, and it is a 2.75 inch. Um, I wonder what the depth on this will be. Um, let's see. That doesn't doesn't give you a depth, but uh, yeah, nevertheless, it's a, probably probably pretty good um, diving depth. Uh, I'll be interested to take it out, see what it does. How, how. Again, this is this is probably a better color for stained water. You'll get flash on the silver. This will be like an overcast day because you can have them look up and catch the flash of colors as this wobbles through. Um, so I got a high hook tie. So I'm going to assume this has probably got a pretty decent wobble back and forth. If it was a little more shallow, I would say it'd be more tail whipping. This is probably a more muted and, uh, and slow wobble because it's so high on the hump. And this has got that hunch style body as well. It's got that big that big hump in the back. So I'll be interested to see the action on that in the future. Um, I might actually take this box and try to do a slam because there is a lot of bait here <laughs> for the for the money. So this is definitely a a very good box for my value this this month. Uh, the Lunker Hunts Jolt, that was a $5.99. Uh, the Carl's Amazing Baits is a $6.99. So this Thwacker is $6.99. Next up the Bandit 200. Um, this is a Bandit's Baits or Bandit Lures. This is their 200 size series bait. It's, uh, it's a black with a pearl white sides um, and yellow eyes. It's not bad at all. Um, so it's a four to eight foot depth in their 200 series. Uh, and the way Bandit runs it is each series system has their basic depth range. So the 200 or your 100 series is your 2 to 5 foot, 200 series is 4 to 8 foot, and your 300 series baits are the 8 to 12 foot deeper diving diving baits. It's a 200 series. That's not a bad bait either. Uh, I'm going to say that might be also good for, for sight fishing some bedded fish, um, being it's got a bright... Uh, pearlescent coat and the and the yellow eyes you'll be able to see that at a pretty decent distance um, so yeah I'll definitely give that a try too and it's a shallow bait so as the fish are spawning and come up shallow uh, out of the deep water this is what I can 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 definitely throw uh, at shoreline so now we're looking at three hard baits um, the, the bandit 200 is a 699 down to the last two lunker hunts camo frog I got more frogs <laughs> than frogs have, <laughs> than, than uh, toads have uh, warts at this point. $9.99, Lunker Hunt's, um, you know, name brand. Uh, this is their combat camo frogs. Uh, as, a, as a son of servicemen, um, you know, retirees, both in the, in the National Guard, the Air Force, uh, veterans of World War II, um, a lot of conflicts. Um, I always appreciate... Uh, anything that kind of emulates servicemen and women, uh, naval patterns, air force patterns, and and general military patterns. So this is a this is a treat. I probably I'll be honest with you. This is something I'm probably just gonna keep as a as a shelf kind of uh, showpiece more than anything because I've got other lunker hunt frogs, the exact same thing, just not in this this color scheme. But uh, let's not pierce the. Oh, oh. Maybe I will be throwing it, because I've done pierced the box already. Ruin the packaging. Sharp hooks. All right, let's back this out and not humiliate myself too much. There we go. There we go. So, the Lunker Hunt Camo Frog. So there you go. You got your standard military drab green camo beige, you know. Got them kicking legs. Those little, little legs that kick out. As you're, as you're working it across. Very soft collapsible body for the hollow body frog. Nice white stomach. Uh, again, overcast days. High sun days, you don't want this out there because if it's too bright, you shouldn't be working really top, top water. Remember, fish don't have eyelids. They can't shade themselves from the sun. And they're, they're going to not look up as often um, for a lot of baits. You want a little bit of overcast so that they can look up and see shadow lines. 
Uh, otherwise, they're just going to be blinded by glare in the water, and it's going to throw them off. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's a nifty frog. I'm appreciative of that, too. This is, again, $9.99. And down to the piece de resistance. This is the... I'm going to say Nishine, or Nishine Lure Works. Uh, this is their Chippewa RB. So, Chippewa RB. This is probably the only time I'm going to butcher the heck out of a brand name. Let's say Nishine. Nishine. Voice from the Water. Okay. Uh, this is a JDM style bait. It's got the little Japanese writing on the back. Um, this is their black shad color. It's got a great amber tone uh, line separating the belly from the from the mid chest, and it's got a really cool purple tone to it. Let's get this out here so I can show you. Um, it's a very interesting color. I actually, I do like this this bait a lot, just from the appearance sake. Let's get this out. I do like the packaging too. It's got little hook holes in the in the plastic, little holes for the hooks so they don't rattle around too much. Tie these up and uh, see what kind of little non-presumptuous rattle in there. Small BBs. Chippewa RB. I will probably tie direct to something like this with my braid rather than use these, uh, these snap clips, these quick release clips. They tend to fail um, occasionally. Although I'm not I'm not opposed to using them. I use them a lot. It helps change out baits rapidly, but I just like to make sure that I have a quality company that I appreciate. So uh, this one, again, a little non-atrocious kind of thing. I like I like that amber tone, and you can just make out, especially around the eyes here, that little purple hue. Try to roll this in the light and see if I can't get it to refract that color for the camera. Um, but yeah, it's got a deep purple black background. It's got a little hue of purple in that in that uh, gill plate area below, just behind the eye. A little black spot. White belly and that amber line. Um, very sticky hooks, which are, are good quality. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm appreciative. This is going to... It's going to say it has a tight action and a wide action, depending on how you retrieve it. It's got a five foot depth, it looks like by this little chart on the back, if that's what they're trying to indicate. So, uh, yeah, I'll be interested. I'm definitely gonna, gonna try to, to catch some, some fish on this. Um, and I'm looking forward, today we got rained out, and yesterday was rain and wind, so I haven't been able to get out on the water as much as I'd like, uh, especially now that spring is finally here, and I'm trying to enter our online contest with uh, uh, a specific YouTuber out there, um, G Money Outdoors. They have their spring open bass tournament. And I want to get out there and get my name up on the leaderboard, but that's kind of hard to do when you haven't dipped your uh, dipped your rod in the water yet. <laughs> so, um, as always, this was this was an epic epic uh, box, and this was their fifteen dollar, their highest price of the box uh, bait. Um, fifteen dollars is a little pricey. It's a little pricey for what I see. Um, might do a follow-up on this with some of the baits, specifically try to find you places where you can get, obviously, the frog, uh, something like this Bandit 200, um, definitely these, these uh, you know, standard uh, square bills and, and lipless and jig heads. Now, I might not be able to find a cheaper version of this flat jig head that's good for skipping, but a football jig head, I can certainly find you one. Um, you know, that's a little, maybe a little less than $3.99. might be two seventy five dollars or something like that. But I'll probably do another, uh, you know, uh, follow-up video with uh, lesser expensive alternative versions of the baits that you saw in this month, the April 2019 Mystery Tackle Box Elite. Um, I hope this was uh, entertaining. I know I'm running on the almost 30 minutes now. It's been a long video, but I had a lot to do. So I just want to quickly say in the last 30 seconds, I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and share this. Again, I plan to do a lot of giveaways. So I need your support as Foul Mouth family members, and uh, I always appreciate you spending some time with me and going through the baits. Uh, as always, tight lines, and God bless. Foul Mouth Fishing. Take care.